everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a pick a card video. Uh, the question is basically going to be like what you need to be focusing on for the month of February. Um, this is my first time doing the video and um, yeah, so I've kind of only made the piles kind of small so it won't be like super, super in depth, but um, hopefully give you a little bit of insight and um, give me a bit more practice into tarot as well. So we'll get straight into the video and I'll just show you the three piles. Okay, so here we have pile one, two, and three. I'm just gonna give you a minute um, if you wanna pause the video or whatever it is that you wanna do, just to really pick the deck that uh, draws you in the most. So if you just wanna, yeah, pause the video now and then you can follow the timestamps depending on which deck you pick. So I'll give you a second. Cool, so I'm going to go into deck number one. Let me move these aside. So we've got, I hope that you can kind of see them. Maybe if I do it like that, be a bit better. So I'll just do this so that you can see what, what I'm talking about. So we've got the Nine of Wands, the Devil, Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Chariot. So immediately we've got two really um, important cards because they're the major arcana with the Devil card and the Chariot. And this is gonna, this basically just suggests to me that you're gonna be feeling um, some sort of like pull um, a lot of tension and um, aggression sort of build up, especially with the devil card, like the devil card is a lot about materialist, uh, materialism and kind of just like, basically I always find the devil card is kind of like just ignoring your intuition and just going blindsidedly and just sort of indulging in all, all of the sort of negative things in the world, so just very materialistic things and um, losing touch with nature and all that kind of stuff is how I really like go with the devil card um, being like entrapped by just yeah the things in life rather than like the true meaning and the true things that you should really worry about um, especially with the chariot card the chariot card is is definitely about tension um, so there's some sort of yeah tension build up with materialism things and just into a bad sort of path of life um, however we do have the nine of wands which obviously shows like hard work and dedication and continuing that and um, with the seven of pentacles as well that's kind of just suggesting to me that you're obviously going to have some sort of decision to make um, let me just have a look at what my book says Yeah, so the Nine of Wands with the whole inner strength, working hard. Um, Seven of Pentacles is more towards like having a different sort of, yeah, another choice, like another option. Um, yeah, the need to decide um, and stuff like that. So I feel like there's going to be a big change in your life, um, especially with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is kind of like recuperation it's kind of like uh, mending from something so you're probably feeling really tense right now and you're probably on a on actually a quite a bad path and you're gonna have some sort of decision to make um, and it's gonna be a lot of hard work for sure like it's gonna it's gonna take time but I think it, it's basically the beginning of your healing process which will put you on the right path so um, yeah you're gonna have a big decision to make this month uh, and hopefully you make the right one. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of just getting, getting that whole, I don't know, I'm just getting the message of just like, you're not quite on the right path right now and you're probably feeling really torn between the two and there's like a big decision to make. Um, you need to be quite strong and level-headed, but uh, you'll, you will recover from this with the Four of Swords as well. Yeah, you'll definitely recover from it and, and get yourself back onto the right track, uh, onto the right path, sorry. So yeah, I'm going to move on now to the second deck. 
So if you pick deck number two, this is your reading. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Hermit, oh God, I'll pick this up. the Six of Cups, and the King of Cups. So with this, reading as well you've got two major arcana cards which indicates quite big sort of life decisions monumental um points in your life and things like that we've also got two cup um cards so we've got the six of cups and the king of cups which is suggesting that it's going to be quite an emotional month um a lot of yeah a lot of um emotion feeling <laughs> involved reminiscing um, a lot of, yeah, a lot of build up of, yeah, just the emotional side of things. And the Knight of Pentacles as well is a great card. Um, it's a hard working card. It's just, it just means that you're, you're potentially, yeah, you're on the right path. Um, probably just thinking back to um, the old days with the Six of Cups. And the High Priestess is kind of just like, yeah, the secrets revealed and mysteries uncovered. So, uh, with the hermit as well, the seeker of knowledge, uh, you're obviously going on a path at the moment where you've, you're seeking the knowledge, you're finding these not, the answers that you're looking for, you're definitely finding them in this month and that's something that you're going to be focusing on. It will definitely bring up a lot of emotion, um, maybe past emotions, maybe it's something that you're dealing with from the past, um, but you're definitely, yeah, the hermit is the seeker of knowledge and the high priestess is kind of just like when those secrets are revealed and um, and found and yeah, sixth of cups is yeah basically reminiscing the past and with the king of cups that's quite like a strong card. Um, the king of cups is one who both love who who both loves and fears. So yeah, I feel like you're definitely going to be dealing with a lot of past emotions you're going to be kind of taking a trip down memory lane um maybe it is that you're seeking answers from your past and, and you're going to get them this month and yeah it's going to be quite emotional you're going to be you're going to need to be strong and you will be strong um and with the knight of pentacles as well that just i think that's just goes to show that it's definitely something that's really needed because the knight of pentacles is kind of like a an ongoing hard working sort of consistent card um what does my book say about it yeah progress is slow but steady so it's definitely going to be a long month i think for you and i think the answers that you're 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 seeking you're going to get and it's going to be it's going to be emotional but it's definitely definitely worth it for your progression um and it may yeah it may not feel it may feel like it hasn't actually done much but it really has and and with yeah the knight of pentacles that's a, that's a slow progression but it, it it's going it's 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 coming into light um so yeah you are it's it's definitely going to be an emotional month but it's necessary for sure definitely necessary so yeah i'm going to be moving on to deck number three now so this is deck number three we've got the three of cups Knight of Swords, oh. Three of Cups, The Lovers, Strength, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so this one's a bit more of like a mixed bag. But again, we've got two of, oh, let me move these over a bit more. So we've got two major arcana cards. We've got The Lovers and Strength. We've got the Ten of Wands with the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups. So this is kind of like, these two for some reason are really jumping out at me. So this is kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of seeing this as more of like a warning. Um, the Knight of Swords is someone that just charges into it, like you can see in the card, just goes straight full force. Um, really just 
doesn't really think about the consequences, just goes straight in, um, almost a bit too fast, is moving too fast. And with the 10 of wands as well, this is someone that's carrying a lot of burdens, that's taking a lot on. Um, this is, this to me, these two cards together are just suggesting that maybe you're taking too much too quickly. Um, it could even be a relationship that's coming into play uh, with the lovers, a partnership even. Um, and maybe you're moving too fast and it's just, it's going a bit too, too much, I'm not sure. Um, but with the Three of Cups, it suggests like celebration and um, collaboration in that sense as well. So it could, it could be, it could be, it, there's, there is like positivity, but I think with the Ten of Wands coming out, you need to be careful that, that, that for me is, is what's throwing it off. The Ten of Wands is always a warning to me that you're carrying too much. It's too much of a burden. Um, and maybe that's why, yeah, that's probably why you have the Strength card, because I think this is the time where you need to be strong. Um, you've obviously got a really strong collaboration, connection, either a relationship or something coming in. is definitely moving really fast. Um, and that's okay. It's, it's positive. However, you may be taking on too much. So you need to, yeah, maybe be strong and, and take have the strength to pull back um, because this is a positive thing in your life and you just don't want to overwhelm yourself and, and move too fast or carry too many burdens and it become a negative. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's a positive, but with a warning, especially with the 10 of wands. So there's definitely something great coming your way, some sort of either relationship, friendship, some sort of collaboration or partnership with the lovers. And it's, it is gonna be a celebration, you're gonna move really fast within it, um, but you may you may potentially take on a lot. So you just, yeah, you need to kind of be headstrong and have that strength within. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope that's helped. So there we go, I, uh, I hope that those readings kind of helped. I know that they're quite short compared to a lot of other uh, pick a card readings that you get on YouTube. Um, that was the first time I've ever done it and I'm still kind of connecting with my tarot cards and stuff and I do feel a lot more comfortable and confident at the moment but um, I've always wanted to kind of do these videos because I love watching them myself so I think I'm going to slowly just build them up and, and do more and more and get more in depth with it as I feel more and more confident and um, as my deck grows and grows as well. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it's given you some sort of clarity or insight into the month of February for you. Um, I'll see you guys next week with another video. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe because it really, really helps me out. So um, yeah, thanks. Uh, I'll see you next week. I don't really ever know how to end these, but yeah, bye. <laughs>